Hello everybody, I'm Frida Stoffer and I had a request to make a cooking video for this recipe. It's the recipe I ate for lunch yesterday. I had um, the black tea infused chicken for lunch. Now this is uh, black tea here and then some plant-based butter here. And it is a, a tablespoon of avocado, um, avocado-based plant oil, uh, margarine made with avocado oil. And my chicken is already seasoned and I sliced one chicken breast into three when it was still slightly frozen because um, when it's slightly frozen it gets better slices. Um, if it's already fully thawed, it's too soft and it, it won't make nice proper slices. So this is what I'm doing now. I'm going to warm up this I'm going to warm up this uh, black tea and butter. Um, I'm going to break up the garlic a little so the flavor of the garlic can infuse the tea. I, um, I think I want this one a little bit broken one more time. There. That will make it taste good. And then at the end, after the tea is cooked down, I'm going to add this um, sugar-free stevia sweetened pineapple from I believe it's Del Monte I got it at Kroger um, and I, it's going to have a pineapple flavor and um, I'm also I'm going to have a little avocado on it on the chicken besides those um, pineapple pieces so I'm going to pause you now while this heats up Okay, I use this Tony Chechery's Famous Creole Cuisine Brown Gravy Mix. Um, I shook a little onto the chicken, just a little. And it does have a little bit of sodium. It has 150 milligrams in one teaspoon and a half. And that's a serving. So, and it has 10 calories. So I shook very little onto each piece of chicken so that it would have a little bit of that um, thickening agent on the outside of it and it will help the chicken retain moisture. So now the butter, plant-based butter has been melted as you see and I used black pepper, a lot of black pepper on my chicken and I used some smoked paprika so it's going to have a lot of flavor. Now that it's really boiling, we add the chicken. Little chicken cutlets. Now it's just going to poach in that tea. And when most of the tea has evaporated, I'm going to add the um, pineapple. I like the smoky smell of the paprika. And the garlic it smells good too. If I had some, I would put just a little bit of coconut sugar, but I won't because I don't have any. And the sweetness is going to come from this uh, pineapple. Coconut sugar is low glycemic. Now I can remove this when they're done and let the broth uh, 
um, continue to cook until it becomes thick like a little gravy. I'm not sure if I want the broth of this pineapple. I'm just going to put the broth in here in this little bowl in case I don't want it because the tea has enough broth. So I'm just going to save this little bit of pineapple juice and see if I need it or not. I'm going to add the pineapple in there. Just one little cup. I check the difference in calories between the one that's in its own juice and the one that's in sweetened with stevia. And the, this one definitely was a lot lower in calories. It has maybe nine calories for this little cup or 10 calories or something like that. This little piece over here on the side is ready. It's thinner than the other. So I'm just going to lay it here on the plate. That one cook a little longer. It's a little thicker. Pineapple in there. I just want to make sure. And then I'm going to, when I eat it, I'm going to add a little uh, cubed, diced uh, avocado on top. Yesterday I put little mandarin oranges on top as the fruit, but today I'm using this pineapple. You can mix it up. You could add salt if you wanted, but I am not, because the doctor gave me or strict orders to be on a low sodium, low sugar, and low-fat diet. That's another reason for the tea, um, the tea, uh, using the tea as broth because it adds flavor without adding calories, and or fat or sugar. I'm and um, this. Uh, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm sure this one is finished. It's thin, so thin and chicken breast doesn't take long especially because it doesn't have any skin and bones if it had skin and bones added it would no. so I'm just gonna finish this up and then I'm going to let it reduce a little more so it'll be thick like a gravy and then I'm gonna put it on top of my chicken to eat it. I'm finding ways to flavor my food without adding salt or sugar or fat. <laughs> so I'm getting creative. And I don't like to follow other people's recipes. I'm just like that, especially when it comes to this kind of healthy cooking because my taste is, um, I don't know how to say it. I'm a foodie and a lot of things, I mean, I just need to, to uh, satisfy a, a few requirements. <laughs> All right, that is finished. So I'm going to add that to the plate. I'm going to finish reducing this um, gravy. Okay. 
it's ready for the gravy. Very good. I'm going to go eat. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.